Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And this is going to be a bit of a rant. Now, if you saw yesterday's video on the, the Mi A3, you would have heard part of it already. Uh, I don't like notches. Any phone that doesn't have a notch is a phone for me. Any phone that has one, I ain't buying the damn thing. I gotta avoid it. Uh, people are, oh, you get used to it. No, you don't. Who the hell wants, you know, you're worried about a bezel. Okay, this is what we need to get over. Quit listening to reviewers who tell you, oh, it's got a really small chin and a, the top bezel is very, very, very tiny. Wouldn't you rather have a little bit of a bezel up top and all your cameras and sensors and a good speaker and stereo speakers, kind of like the Axon M has here. Uh, this foldable phone would be completely unusable if it was bezel-less. It's just way too easy to tap the screen without, you know, having a case with an edge to keep your finger or your palm from overlaying it. Uh, one of the reasons it's not a daily driver, although it's got screen protectors front and rear, and I do bring it along because of the camera microphone and the format it shoots in which is mp4 there's no reason phones shouldn't come with this option yeah, and it was one of the reasons i said in yesterday's video buy the me a2 it's got a faster processor yeah it you can't expand the storage but 64 gig from a, a few years ago, you spent a fortune to get an Apple with 64 gig on an Apple 7. So, all of a sudden, when did 64 gig become obsolete? Unless you're shooting at 4K, which is you know, bragging rights kind of stuff. If you're going to shoot snapshots, if you're going to shoot pictures, if you're going to shoot, you know, maybe a short little snippet of something, Get a phone, just make sure it'd be good if it has EIS or like this does it, they call it digital image stabilization. Works pretty well. Uh, it's not as good as today's EIS, uh, but it's adequate and it'll shoot at 1080p, 30 frames a second, more than fast enough. It'll actually shoot at 4K, but why? Uh, so, the whole point here is get over what the reviewers tell you about those bezels here and here. And I've got some pretty big ones on the Axon M, which makes it easy to hold when I'm taking videos at work of the cars. Makes it easy to hold all the time, uh, no matter what I'm doing. Um, there's this immersive crap is just... It's a word. Get over it. It's what reviewers use. And I know all the reviewers, I trust you. Oh, it's so immersive. Except for the teardrop hanging now. Or, to go, well, you can hide the teardrop, which makes it, gives you the equivalent of having a bezel up there. Move it down. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So it's no longer bezel-less. You don't need to be bezel. I mean, bezels on the side, yeah, you don't need those. Bezels at the top and bottom, okay, you really don't need the bottom. But the top, that's where you put all your sensors. That's where you put your good headset jack. Don't put it under the screen. That's just stupid. Uh, it's tech for the sake of tech. Uh, and then you'll hear from good reviewers will say, well, the audio quality is not quite as good. So that being what it is, that's all I got for today. I try to keep it short and sweet. I just want to say, get over the whole bezel-less phone thing. Get over the pop-up cameras. Get over the, tell the manufacturers you want a top bezel.
You let them know, enough people let them know, you'll get a response. Because right now, they feed the product to these reviewers and tell them, this is what you're going to talk about. Use the word immersive. Use the word bezelous. Yeah. And they dutifully follow their marching orders. Now, some of them don't do that. They're just into the whole, well, it's 2019 and the way to go is bezelous. Who says? Who decided this? Why? I mean, you got to give me a good reason why. And, well, if it's a 6.7 and 5 inch phone, it'll get too big. What the hell are you doing walking around with a freaking tablet? Buy a tablet. You can, make, you can get an LTE tablet, make phone calls on it if you must. And have a bigger display. With bezels, oh no, oh no, they're going to reach out and kill me. No one has ever been attacked, injured, or even harmed by a bezel. No one's ever gotten ill, sick, or thrown up due to a bezel. A thin bottom chin, not a bad idea. At the top, can we just have all our stuff? And not have it hanging out in our display. Since we're either going to have it hanging out in the way when we're gaming. Or have to get it to, don't show the teardrop notch. Or whatever, the hole or whatever. And then it pushes everything over. So you essentially have a bath hole. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to die. Bezel, bezel, bezel. Seriously. Uh, so, make sure you read the description below for a link here to the Axon M, which is still dirt cheap over on Amazon. I don't have anything else to link. I'll throw some cards up at the end uh, from yesterday's video. And then I'll just click Best Reviewer and you'll get whatever you get. Uh, although I, I have one I recommend people read uh, or watch. It's a little long, but the IP rating one tells you what all those letters stand for. And it ain't waterproof. It's ingress protection. It's water resistance. You should really read that and learn and find out, oh, you really can't take this in a swimming pool. No. No. Oh, you, you shouldn't go drop this in the ocean. No. It, they're only resistant to H2O. Water. No added chemicals. Chlorine's corrosive. Obviously, salt is highly corrosive, especially if you have any kind of metallic frame. And there's any steel in the alloy whatsoever or iron uh corrosion is instantaneous it will start almost right away and in that case you're better off you know go to the nearest restaurant and rinse it off that's covered in that video check it out i'll link that one actually in the one of the cards above that'll simplify things so if you've watched the whole video then check the description below Big arrow. And then if you found this interesting, informative, remotely humorous, or just killed six minutes of your time, uh, consider looking at this little reminder. Yeah, okay, thanks. Subscribe. Click the bell icon. Nobody's going to make you watch them, but it wouldn't hurt. And uh, give us a big thumbs up. And leave feedback and share this with everyone, including your grandmama. Thanks a lot. Catch you in the next one.